Welcome to Victoria Swan Hill. <laughs> Welcome back guys to the channel. I'm King Dino. I'm Adam as a twilight. <laughs> and we are outside Swan Hills Information Centre, which we are going to be here for the next two nights. We're going to go start there and see what to see in Swan Hill. So let's go and find out what's happening All here. All wrapped up and ready to hit the town. Yes, it's a bit cold. Ooh. Well, the first place you definitely have to stop is straight across from the information, the giant Murray Cod. So definitely have to do this one. So we're just going to get a photo here and um, a have typical, a typical tourist or something. Yeah, it's, we're being tourists right now, real tourists. The giant banana, and the, that's not here. Get all those giant things in Australia. Yeah, well, we've seen the giant them. banana, but now we've got the giant Murray Cod. now just walking the streets of Swan Hill looking for some bread rolls we thought we might go for a drive and have a bit of a picnic lunch um, so yeah we're just walking around town and have a look so the lady at the information center suggested us coming up to Tower Hill to have some lunch there's a lake you can walk around there's a dog park which is pretty cool and um, there's a big undercover area so we grabbed some rolls from down in town we've got some hot dogs so we're gonna make hot dogs in the park and then maybe go for a walk so we've got our hot dogs we just cut up some bacon we've got some onion we've got some cheese Adam's about to grate and then we've got our burner out and uh, yeah we're gonna have ourselves some hot dogs hot dogs are on we've got our bacon and onion cooked it's gonna be yum while these cook we better go take twilight for a run in the dog park so we're just walking over to the dog park but i thought i'll just show you as well as the dog park um you've got this humongous <laughs> play area for kids if you've got kids they're gonna love it here and they've even got a little murray cod oh god no if you can actually see that's it's so tiny um in the park as well and then behind me you got basketball courts so if you've got a basketball courts kids can play here and then over there is adam just walked into the actual dog park and then if you feel like a walk after lunch just here is a little man-made lake you can walk around that and i'll bring you back anyway let's go see twyla in action Well, there you have it. That's my hot dog. We've put everything underneath and then put the sauce and mustard on top. That looks so good. Yummo! So we've just come down to do the Swan Hill River Walk. Now, it's about a 6K walk up and back. We're probably gonna maybe do about half of that. Um, and yeah, and the, this is the bridge that we came into. Um, so it's a very famous bridge. What year was it uh, made? Do you remember, Monica? 1896. Oh, 1896 it was made. Um, obviously it's had a few updos and um, it, it basically lifts in the middle and there's only one car can go over at a time. Um, well, it's a single lane bridge uh, and that goes up so the paddle steamers can come through. So anyway, this is part of it. But there's all different things along the way you can see and things you can read. Um, so we're gonna go do this now.
So we're not in Swan Hill anymore, Toto. Where are we, Adam? Lake Bogar. Lake Bogar, Lake Bogar, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, so we've got this fantastic caravan park. Now it's about 12 minutes from Swan Hill, but didn't worry us with a view like this. How cool is this? It's so nice. And we've gone and hired a fire pit. We left our fire pit at home, but we've hired one. Only $10, pretty cool. Um, the only thing Adam was up sort of about is they've got a dog on leash sign right there. Not that we care about having the dog on leash. Twyla's always on lead, but <laughs> it's right in our view. But anyway, that's okay. We'll just look over this side and we'll have a beautiful view. They knew Twyla and, was coming. Yeah, they knew Twyla was coming. And then look how beautiful this is. And then Monica has got herself a, um, a cabin again and it looks really good so i'll show you that a bit later when i do a park um a walk around the park anyway we'll get set up now we just got here literally just got here um adam's got to return they gave us this trolley so we could wheel a fire pit to here so he's going to return that and then we're going to get set up and get our chairs out and maybe light this fire So we're definitely settled in for the night. It is so beautiful. Check out our fire, it looks amazing. And just seeing the sun go down, the pink skies, it is absolutely beautiful. There is a full moon tonight, which is even better. But look at this sunset, watching it go down. All I need now is a glass of wine. Fanning the flames. The fire was dying down, so we've got Monica on the <laughs> on the fan. She's she's blowing the air in there. So if you if you get like anything to make wind and get some oxygen in there. Well not anything. <laughs> well, not anything. Any, well, we're just using a plate. You should turn the plate around, Monica, because it's prettier. See? Oh yes. Now we're not burning our plates, but <laughs> but yeah, we're just getting some oxygen there to get the fire going again. And it just started to die down a bit. So, a bit of air, and now we've got flame again. Beautiful, good job, Monica. <laughs> Keep up the hard work. <laughs> All right, so we've come in from outside out of the cold. The fire's nice, but, and what have you made us, Adam? Oh, mustard. It's a... Thank you. Oh, nice ravioli bread. with some bread. Oh, how nice. And we did that on, well, you did this, on the two burner. Yeah. Yeah, how nice. Oh, this looks so good. Yum. So this morning we've gotten up and had breakfast at Monica's cabin. It was really nice and just enjoyed the beautiful sunrise. It was so beautiful. Anyway, we're packed up the van because we're going into town. Me and Monica, oh, I said me, whoops. Monica and I are going <laughs> into, what's it called Adam? Going into just Swan Hill. Swan Hill, yeah, but it's like Sovereign Hill, yeah? Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Um, penal settlements. What is it? 
the penal settlement. Oh, okay. Do so we're going to go check that out, and then we're taking the van in because um, we have got Monica's car, but we're taking the van in so Adam can hang out with Twyla in the car while we're in looking around, and then we're going to find somewhere for lunch. Anyway, let's head off and go uh, check out this town. So we just arrived to the Piney Settlement. We're about to head in and go see what this is all about. So I think we picked a good day to come to the Piney Settlement in Swan Hill. There is hardly anyone here. I mean, it might warm up a bit later, but we're in one of the main towns right now. How cool does this look? We've gone back in time and um, we're just gonna go check this out and have a look around. Well, if you get a bit tired in the day and you feel like you're about to cark it, don't worry, they've got coffins here. You can always hop in one of these. Um, it's made from metal. Lasts longer, even stronger. Now in the post office, and um, I hear there's a very important phone call coming through. Hello. Now we're about to head on into the paddle steamer. Now, when you do come here, you can go on the paddle steamer. It leaves at 2.30 every day, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's an extra cost and you can go on the paddle steamer. But they do have this one here that you can walk around and check out. Uh, Monica said that she feels like she's in Boy George's film clip, I'm a Camellia. Oh no, come on Camellia. How do you? Anyway, you get my point. All right, well, let's go check it out. As we're filming inside the ship, you can actually see, besides seeing all these fantastic things, you can actually see Adam in our van out there on the street. He's with Twyla, because I can't come in, but yeah, he's, he's enjoying himself anyway. He's got a book to read. Anyway, we're gonna head upstairs now on this boat and have a look. Before I take you upstairs on the boat, I just wanna show you this. So if you haven't seen, I'm sure you've all seen Paddle Stemmers before, but if you haven't, so in the middle of the boat, down on the bottom level, you've got the big wheel here that has big pieces of planks of wood across it that obviously pull the boat along. And then on the inside is where you'd have your big engine powered by fire or um, later on, I think they turned to diesel. But anyway, this is it. So let's go upstairs and check out um, while we're trying to find Monica wants to find the actual steering wheel. So let's go see upstairs if they've got one. So I've just come up to the second level. 
And this is obviously all the rooms where people used to stay when they're on the boat. And um, so all the different quarters. So we'll head on through and slowly make our way to the top. See, it helps having friends on the outside. We're up the top deck now and Adam's taking, giving, getting photos of us on the boat. <laughs> so anyway, he's out there with Twyla. There she is, she's crying because we're up here. Anyway, we're going to check out the front. We found the steering wheel, so let's go have a look at it. So in the captain quarters, they've got pictures of all the different captains of the paddle steamers, and they've even got a list of all the different ones. How cool is that? Now let's get serious after my little dance. Um, so we just found, so this is the gem and it was built in 18, where is it? 76, but it's pretty cool. And you can actually come up and get a photo with the wheel or do a dance like I did. And you can even steer it. How cool is that? Anyway, I'm gonna head down now and go see what else is in this park to discover. So this paddle steamer was known for being quite luxurious and you had a choice to come and have a hot bath in Murray River water. They used to bring it up from the engine room so it was warm. They would fill the baths up, you could have baths. But unfortunately, all the paddle steamers, sewerage, basically went into the water um, in the Murray River. So you weren't guaranteed to always have the cleanest water. And if you know Murray water, it's pretty brown. So <laughs> as nice and warm as the water was you could have found a floater all right let's move on all right so i may not be no jack but you know had to give it a go <laughs> we just found this angry duck he just said try to attack monica watch he's probably going to try to attack me don't attack me don't attack me oh <laughs> i'm getting back ah! See? Oh my god, here he comes. So if you do decide to do the pedal steamer, it goes for about 45 minutes, so I think, um, and basically this is the one you'll be hopping on. It's not as large as the other one, but the other one had a lot more accommodation, um, so I think it was a lot larger, but yeah, this is a little bit smaller, but still looks like fun. So if you want to know a little bit more about the pedal steamer, which was built in 1896 that you can go on. Um, this, you can pause this now and have a look at this information. So at night they have a light show. This looks fantastic. When you come in the front entrance, they normally have a video playing so you can kind of see what a little bit of what you're gonna get. Um, but this is where you watch it at night. So you sit on these steps. Now it is a separate ticket, so you need to buy that. If you're doing the day thing here and then you go wanna do the show at night, um, they can group them together to make that a little bit cheaper. Um, so, and behind me is where the water sprays up, the lights are here, and you've got lights behind, and it makes a really cool laser light show with, through water, basically, and it tells you the history of the Murray, um, and going right back in time, right back to when the dinosaurs were here. So, very interesting. So, anyway, this is it. This is where you sit, so make sure you rug up, because there ain't no heating here. Oh, there might be. I could be lying, but no, I don't think there's heating here. It, rug up. Uh, if you're going to come along to this, we're not going to be doing this tonight. We're going out to celebrate Monica's birthday, but this is an option when you do come.
It took us a while, but we finally found the pub, so let's go in and get a drink. Now, we've been waiting for quite a while. There's no one serving beers. I don't think they've, I think this is the beer, the, the pub with no beer, basically. So, uh, looks like we're gonna have to move on. We're gonna have to go somewhere else for a drink. Now I thought it might be good to leave the shops to last because I know what Monica's like. She likes to buy a lot of things, but we're gonna start at the general store and then move down and check out the rest. So if you've got a sweet tooth, they've definitely got something for you. There is so many different lollies and things in here and they've even got my favorite soda drink here so i might just have to get myself a bottle well it looks like panadol come in canisters back in the day i'll take two canisters thanks Right next door to where we just were is the Swan Hill Regional Art Gallery. Adam and Monica are gonna step on in and check out some pieces while I stay out here with Twyla. So all that exploring has made us very hungry. And so we've decided to come along to the 202 CAF. This place is pet friendly, so you can have your dogs out the front, the seating, inside, outside, and um, they have a few bits and pieces on their menu. So let's go and enjoy. So where are we now, Adam? So we're back at Lake Boga, adjacent to the caravan park. So there's a flying air museum here, which um, they house the Catalina uh, aircraft, and I'm guessing others as well. And that um, was because they needed somewhere safe, yeah? To, to like, so this is fix this, the this, planes, yeah? This, yeah, this land was repositioned in, uh, in World War II. Yep. That was in 1942 by the government. Yep. So they can have a safe haven to maintain and to repair and to house um, flying boats, which oh, is there. Okay. Is service service planes and there's a bunker here or something yeah, what was that about there is. so there's a communications bunker as well oh awesome yeah. all right so let's go inside and check what it's yeah. all about but if you want to pause on this this gives you the whole spiel so if you want to pause the, the episode now you can check that out so anyway let's go in and have a look 
Adam, I've left you for one minute. What are you doing? You're trying on me. too many layers on. <laughs> Let's have a look over here. You look. <laughs> so you can try on all the different uniforms. Very interactive. Oh, got a small head. This yeah. is actually quite tight. Looks good. <laughs> so that would have been like smaller, smaller size men. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on that rack fitting me. So I'm currently standing at the end of the plane inside it and um, just through here these two guns and they were the rear gunmen. Now they were the easiest target so if you pulled the straw and got their back gun person you're most likely going to die. Um, and then right through you can see right through to the front and if you just saw the um, filming that I just shot, I just shot Adam standing here and then I was down the front filming from the front and you could see where the people who fly the plane are. And they used to have about six or seven um, different crew in here. Um, and they even had, or, or maybe a little bit more, and they even have a chef. God, well, hope you cook good food, being in such a small spot. But um, it, it, it is large, but then kind of small at the same time. But anyway, interesting. Just make sure if you do come, you've got plenty of time because there is a lot of material to get through. There's so much to read. And look at this, they've got a full size plane in this place. It's unbelievable. But um, fantastic stories. And uh, we're about to head out to go see the bunker. All right, so here we go. We're going into the bunker. We can't tell anyone about this. No one knows about it, it's a big secret. And, um, this is where they had all the communications. Now the staff they had inside here weren't allowed to talk to the other staff members. So it was totally different, separate, just in case they let the secrets get out. So anyway, let's head on in, underground. Woo, here we go. How cool is this? Background and development of a replica of the signals and cipher facility was commenced. This is the entry. As you move along the passageway, you will pass the duty officers off from the rest of the base contingent. Made possible through the generosity of the Sea Lake Historical Society in allowing it to be housed here. Now, Adam, next time someone complains that their battery packs too big check this out so this was their backup generator so all you campers out there with generators <laughs> this was theirs it's be pretty big so this would happen if the they lost power in um uh, swan hill this would start up and start running and then we're just in the back room which obviously the houses where they have their cups of tea and coffee and their fridge and then they got some beds and this is the back escape route. You can see the stair, well, ladder kind of thing going up so it can get out. You can see how thick the walls are. Um, obviously to stop from getting blown up, I suppose. Nice strong walls. So we've just come out of the bunker. Now, when this was operational, it was actually set up like a little town. They actually made a fake little town. The buildings were used, but it was, when you looked, flew over on a plane, it would just look like a little town. 
and um, in the middle of it, around the bunker, was like a pumpkin patch or whatever they were growing at the time, just to disguise it as like a little farm amongst the town, so the well, they wouldn't get bombed. Um, anyway, well that was the bunker. How cool is that? This place is awesome. So this is a good picture. This is a bunker here, which we were just in. This is a veggie patch. And then this is where they used to fix the planes. And pretty much this was the pretend town, but at the same time, they were buildings that were used. And there's the lake, and we're just staying down here, not far at all. So here we go. So before we head out for tea for Monica's birthday, I want to show you around the Lake Bogar Caravan Park. Now these guys are a part of the G'day Parks. So if you're a member, you can get all your, you know, um, special deals and all the rest of it. But anyway, let's go around and check out the facilities. As you can see, this place has everything you need. It is absolutely beautiful. We're here and it is actually pretty cold, but we're still loving it with our fire. And can you imagine this in summer? It would be absolutely incredible. So anyway, check these guys out. Definitely come and stay. It is so good. We love it here. And uh, now it's time to go celebrate Monica's birthday. All right, so to start off the celebrations, we've got a bottle of Tazinger to start the night off. So we're gonna open this up now to celebrate Monica's, what is it, your 21st? 21st birthday, yep. Do I make a good liar? <laughs> Let's just hope this thing doesn't pop in my face. Uh, although it could be a good thing, I could actually get to, um, you know, get, a, get an extra drink out of it. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, Monica. Happy birthday. All right, ooh, ready? Woo! Happy birthday, Monica. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> So we're about to head out for Monica's birthday. We're going to the local pub and um, supposedly we've got a spot outside where Twyla can sit with us in front of a fireplace. So we'll check that out in a minute, but check this out. How magical to celebrate Monica's birthday with this full moon. Look at this, just glistering. Look at it, it looks amazing on the water. So, hey, if you're coming up here, I recommend coming when there's a full moon because 
you get this. How awesome. So we've just rocked up to the commercial hotel, which is literally not even a oh, little bit over 10 minute walk from the caravan park. You can get outdoor seating. We can bring Twyla here. It is a good little setup. Um, a lot of locals come here. So get prepared to have a lot of conversations. There's some really nice people here. But anyway, let's go in and check it out. Happy birthday, dear Monica. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray. 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 Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Oh, guys, that's it for another adventure. We had so much fun on this, and we just mm. were not expecting this caravan park. It was so good. You loved it? Yeah, and it was definitely surprising. Being on the waterfront of Lake Bogar, um, which is obviously a great location with, you know, being on any waterfront, I guess, but we had the perfect weather. Um, yeah, no, really, really, really good surprise. It was really surprising. And also and having the, the, fl the flying boat museum not far from it within, Yeah, that was you know, cool. A few flying. minutes. That was definitely um, um, something to check out and visit as well. Like, and just going back to the caravan part, I like the fact that Every spot I saw had a view of the lake. There was nowhere in that caravan park where you didn't see the lake. And the sunrise and the um, sunset were beautiful from where, everywhere in the caravan park. It was amazing. Now, during the week, if you want to catch up with us, just check out this tag here on Instagram. We post photos every second day and we do some videos on there so you can check that out. But otherwise, guys, if you haven't already, Make sure you like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. And we will see you next week where we're heading to Mildura. So going further east, going further west, chasing the sun. We'll try to chase the sun at least. <laughs> so. And Adam and Monica shop up a storm. But anyway, you'll find out about that next week. Mm. Spending too much money. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next week, guys. Remember, five o'clock Sunday. We'll see you then. See Ciao. You. Bye.